Warning, this reel contains spoilers. As soon as I saw Two Point Touch being used, I knew we had a blind character. The use of Braille was really cool, it was only on screen for a few seconds though. It sucks that early on Kane had to be a villain, if you don't know there's a real issue with people with disabilities and facial differences being evil or villains. He had a bloody awesome, if impractical looking Kane. Blind people don't wear sunglasses all the time. It's a personal choice. Someone may be self-conscious about how their eyes look to others, or they may be sensitive to light. Not all blind people have milky or cloudy eyes. I think this was done for dramatic effect, but you can be just as blind with quote-unquote normal looking eyes. Other characters gave Kane eye contact when having a conversation. This was really cool, because it's important to interact and talk with us just like everyone else. The use of assistive technology was awesome. He used sensors to detect enemy movement to figure out how high or low to attack. Kane is blind, but he has a vision for his life. Protecting his family and survival. This is the second role where Donnie Yen plays a blind character. I would love to know if he consulted with blind people to figure out the mannerisms of his characters. Overall, it was actually pretty awesome having a blind main character in John Wick 4. I actually felt a bit emotional. It's not really an accurate depiction of a blind person, but it's still exposure and representation. I hope audiences leave the film with a new appreciation for blindness. Kane moves with confidence, so maybe I can too.